I've forgotten. Hello Martian Travelers, it's Ranger Tamio and welcome back to the Mars Parlor. So, in today's nail video, we're going to be doing some holiday Yuletide nails. Um, unlike other videos where I just do the one hand, it's going to be a full set since I want to wear this for the holiday season. A snack, grab a drink, and we're just going to be having a lot of fun with it today. So we're just going to get right into it. Alright guys, so I decided to go ahead and leave the nail prep in this video. So that means we're going to go in and push back the cuticles to start with. And then I'm going to use my cuticle nippers to go in and trim them. I finally went ahead and ordered some masks to wear while I'm filing so that I can stop inhaling so much product and everything because I know that that's what's been happening but um, I'm just going to go in with this next step by taking my e-file and a sanding band and all I want to do is go around my cuticles a little bit very lightly just because um, I kind of don't want these to be like, I don't know, I don't want them to stay forever. And throughout the video, I'm going to be showing you guys some clips of my work with my left hand just to kind of show the contrast between the two. So 
so of course i'm gonna go on with some sally henson's miracle cure as a base coat and then for this set i am actually going to use some soak off gel base coat uh, in the next step Okay, now that we've cured that base coat and wiped this tacky layer with alcohol, I'm just gonna go in and size my tips and then glue them all on. After all of your tips are applied, you'll want to take the tip cutters and then uh, cut them down to size, of course. I like to start with my pinky and then line up my cuticles with my palm facing up to make sure that they all end up the same length. Now I'm just going in with my straight nail clippers and cutting either side at a slope to get a stiletto shape before I file. That way it saves a lot of filing work.
okay so we've got our tips all shaped up with that hand file and in this next clip i just wanted to show me swatching some red colors to see which ones felt more christmasy for this set Afterwards, I decided to go ahead and unpackage these cute little uh, autumn leaves that I just got in the mail. And we're just going to start in with the acrylic by applying a clear layer to all of our nail beds. And after we have that thin layer of clear on all of the nails, I'm going in with my white acrylic and I'm going to cover my entire pinky nail in that. And you'll see me do the same thing for the opposite hand.
And then I'm going in with what I believe is Model 1's 230 nude color. Um, and I'm gonna take that and coat my middle fingers and my thumbnails entirely. And now I'm taking this beautiful sparkly red color from Savvy Land and I'm going to almost fully cover the nail with this. Um, we're going to leave a slight slanted window in the middle to encapsulate some of those leaves. And lastly, I'm using this bright red color to fully cover my pointer fingernail. And I actually ended up doing opposites for my ring and pointer finger designs on either hand, just to switch it up a little bit.
So whenever you're working with colored acrylics and you keep dipping that brush back into the monomer and everything, it is going to get some of that color in the monomer, which will transfer it to your other nails. So what I wanted to avoid was using this last bit of monomer I had and uh, encapsulating that window part that I wanted to do next. So I just decided to already go ahead and do some final clear capping on my colored nail. And then I'm gonna use some fresh monomer to go in and encapsulate those leaves. I then ended up going in with some more nude acrylic on my on the nails that needed it uh, just because they were looking a little bit thin and then I went ahead and clear capped the other nails and that will conclude the acrylic application.
So my camera did die a time or two while I was filming, so I missed a little bit of filing for my uh, right hand, but I am going to leave these filing clips in here for you to enjoy. Um, the next step is to use this hand file, of course, and then I'm going to go in with my e-file again and clean up around the cuticles to make them nice and sealed and uh, to just finish, you know, smoothing out the nails.
Okay, so I went ahead and washed my hands and cleaned up my area a bit. And now I'm going in with my gel polishes, um, starting off with some gel base coat just to make sure everything sticks. And we're just gonna go ahead and apply some of that before our designs. But since my full red nails are going to be sweater nails, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some gel matte polish to those. Um, and that's going to be the base for that design. As I'm showing you here, I did go ahead and get a UV LED flashlight and it is a wonderful tool to have because it just made curing throughout the process a lot easier and a lot more simple. So um, I just wanted to test that out in this video. And this is just me going in with that gel matte uh, top coat is what it is generally. And that's gonna be the base for the sweater design. But I wanted you guys to see how cool it looks whenever uh, you, know, you use this flashlight. You can just kind of see it go right from glossy to matte. And it's just so fun to see. Okay, so now I'm mixing some clear acrylic into my uh, bright red gel polish, and this is going to be my paint, sort of, to create the sweater design that I want on my red nails. So after painting on your sweater design, but before curing, you'll want to drop some of that uh, acrylic powder over it, and that's just going to give it the final effect that it needs.
this is what the set is looking like so far everything's looking really good and the next step is for us to go in with the white gel polish and paint on some little polar bears on the middle finger After curing the first layer, I went in with a second layer of paint just to make the white nice and opaque. Now I'm going to give him a little scarf uh, with some red gel polish, and then I'm going to go in with white and make some little hatch marks in it, and give him a little face uh, with some black polish to, to end with. Okay, now we've made our cute little bears on either hand. I'm gonna go in with some sparkly red gel polish and paint a peppermint on the one hand and then just some candy cane stripes on the other. Okay, and last but not least, we're gonna go in with my dotting tool, and I found this little snowflake hack on Pinterest just before the video, actually, um, and I'm just putting those on my thumbs and then a little bit on my middle fingers with the polar bears. I'm just gonna create some dots here and there as well and create a little snow effect. Alright, alright, so that is it for the gel nail designs, and lastly we're going to go ahead with some rhinestone glue, and I just wanted to put a couple of red rhinestones on my peppermint nails, um, and then we're going to go ahead and top coat the nails that need it, and we'll be finished.
All right, so now we're going to put those in the lamp for our final 60 second cure, and we have our finished nail set. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use some cuticle oil and put some hydration back into those cuticles. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. I know it was kind of long, but um, I honestly love doing just these little sit-in sessions, and hopefully you do too. It is the most amazing feeling to see people actually watching my videos and to see people liking my videos. Um, if you do enjoy the video, please take the few seconds to go ahead and give it a like because it does mean a lot to me. So um, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will see you again in the next video. So that is it for today's nail video. I had a lot of fun doing this holiday set and hopefully you were able to take a little something away from it or just enjoy watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. It'll help me out a lot and I can't wait to make the next one. You guys, thank you so much for watching and safe travels back to Earth. Peace. Three, two, one.